The topic of today's episode is how to read stock charts for day trading. Now it's not exclusive to day trading. You could just as easily apply what I'm gonna share with you today for swing trading or short term or even long term investing. But day traders especially lean on stock charts for our understanding of where to buy and where to sell. So if you're clicking this video and you're wanting to learn more about stock charts, it's probably because you're taking a pretty active interest in being in the market. And in contrast to like a line chart that just shows the line kind of going up and down, which you might see on like CNBC when they're talking about a stock, uh, the, the type of charts that active traders use are called candlestick charts. And we use these types of charts because they provide a lot more information and each individual candlestick, the form that it takes actually communicates a strong market sentiment, which an active trader like myself can interpret and help me understand what I think the stock is going to do next. Because ultimately the best trader is the trader who can predict the future. So we use as many tools as we can to try to predict the future. And one of the things that's really cool is that the language of these stock charts I'm gonna be sharing with you during this series, these, this is a language that provides very clear buy and sell indicators. So if you're trading and you're not utilizing candlestick charts, there's a, there's a whole world of the market that you're totally missing. These are they're clear buy and sell indicators that you're just not seeing at all. So a seasoned trader most likely has their own internal library or, or sort of database in a way of these different chart patterns and how when you see this chart pattern, what you can expect the stock will do next. So we see a very particular pattern and we can expect the stock following that pattern is going to break out to the upside. And this gives us a real edge as a trader. So that's why technical analysis is so important. And we're gonna start high level with an understanding of the anatomy of a candlestick. And then through this series, I'm gonna break down the different candlestick shapes, the market sentiment that they communicate. And then we're gonna get into multi candlestick patterns. And I'm gonna share with you a few of my favorite patterns that for me, I rely on heavily in my trading every single day. And for those that don't know, my name is Ross Cameron and I am a full-time day trader. Last five years, I've made over $10 million in gross profit. And I say that not to brag and not to have you think that my results are typical, but because I want you to know that I actually know what I'm talking about here. So this is, you wanna make sure you're learning from someone who's not just like talking theory and stuff like that. I actually put to work everything I'm gonna share with you here on a daily basis. Okay, so let's jump into the whiteboard to break down what a candlestick is. So let me draw a candlestick here. This is, uh, just the type of candlestick you'd see on any ordinary chart. And let me break down what this is telling us. This candlestick right here, regardless of whether we're looking at a daily chart, a five minute chart or a one minute chart, this candlestick is telling us four pieces of information. The open, the close, the high, and the low. Now a green candlestick is gonna, it could have the exact same shape but it's gonna be colored green because it opened low and closed high. So we need to have our candlesticks colored, whether they're going up or going down, because although the low and the high are the same, the open and the close are different depending on whether it's going up or going down. So this is a candlestick right here that is already communicating some degree of indecision. The stock in this period went up, dropped down, but then closed, in this case, a little lower than the open. In this case, it's sort of the inverse. It went up, it pulled back, and then it closed a little higher than the open. So this specific candlestick shape is communicating some market sentiment. Now, all by itself, maybe not a big message. The message really comes as we start to see multi-candlestick formations, or as we start to see very particular types of candles at the end of a big move to the upside, and that could be an indicator of a reversal about to happen. Now, let's talk about time frames. So this candlestick chart, this could be any time frame. And let me actually show you real quick on my, uh, on my computer. This is a daily chart. So this is all of these candlesticks over the period of nearly a year, over a year of price action. So this is how this chart is created. Each individual day is its own candle. Now we could switch the time frame up here in the top uh, left from daily to five minute. And when we change it to a five minute now, we're just looking at today's price action. And then this is after hours and pre-market, and this is yesterday's price action. 
So now we're seeing a very, very narrow view of the stock, which would be helpful for day trading. We can go in even further down to a one minute chart. And now we're just looking at the last couple of hours of price action. And so a trader who's actively trading a stock that's moving quickly and it's very volatile will be relying on one minute and five minute time frames. But let's switch back to the whiteboard for a second and let me just show you something that's kind of interesting. So I'm gonna draw a candlestick here and let's see. So if I drew the candle just like that, we know that this is the open and that's the close. Now this candle would communicate a much different message if it has a lower uh, candle wick or a low that's way down here like that. That would tell us that, wow, this stock sold off all the way during that period, but then came all the way back up and even closed strong. That's pretty bullish. Or if it had a huge upper candle wick, it would tell us it squeezed way up there, but then came back down. That's a little bearish. But let's just say it's a little bit more kind of just average. All right, so we've got a candle that's a little bit more like that. And let's say that this is a five minute chart. Okay, so if this is a five minute chart, five minutes, uh, five minutes here. This is a five minute candle. This represents five minutes of time. So what most traders will have when they're, when they're trading is they'll have a five minute chart, a one minute chart, and a daily. And this will be on one computer screen right there. And usually a computer screen will have two sort of sets of charts like this. So this then this will be the other stock here. So a trader would probably watch two stocks at once. So this one might be, you know, the S&P 500, and this would be United States Oil Fund, just for instance. So if you had this five minute candle, this is a five minute candle. Okay, so let's think about that. What does that mean? It means literally that there are five minutes inside that candle. That means if we're looking at a one minute chart right here, there are five one minute candles that created this one five minute candle. So what would those five minute candles look like? Those five individual candles look like? Well, they opened and initially the stock squeezes up. It squeezes up quite a lot because we know it opened down here and it hit a high of uh, way up here. Now it's possible that it dropped in one candle all the way down to there. And that of course would have been actually a red candle, which is fine. So it sells off all the way down there and then it bounces back up and closes up here. Now, of course, the candle could have had different a different shape. It could have this candle could have been um, just for instance it could have initially gone uh it could have initially well let's see so let's just finish that like this uh, so then the close let's just say is like right here okay so that's the close that was the open and then we have our upper high and our lower low so we put those pieces together right and that's how the candlestick gets its shape now that's one way that five one minute candles could go into a five minute candle like that the other way, alternatively, is that right at the open, it sold off, it dipped down, and then it surged right back up here over one, maybe two candles, and then it pulled back a little bit and closed kind of like here. So again, we would still have basically the same piece of information. We have the open, we have the close, we have the high, and we have the low. And so that creates the candlestick body. And I think what this is a good example of here is how this is a very different one minute chart from this one here. So if you're looking just at a five minute chart, right, you're looking just at the five minute chart as we might look at over here, you could actually be misled to think that the stock is really strong because you're not seeing the price action that occurred within the shorter time frame. Just as if you were looking at a daily chart, you might not recognize what happened uh, truly on an intraday basis. So it is important to look for uh, multi, what we call multi time frame alignment. That's when you have both a strong five minute, a strong one minute, and a strong daily chart. That's sort of the perfect storm when it comes to technical analysis, when you have that multi time frame alignment. So real quick, uh, right down in the description, if you look at the description of this video, you'll see a link to download my PDF. This is a PDF of my micro pullback strategy, which is a multi candlestick strategy that is one of my favorites and I trade it almost every single day. Everything we're talking about in this series is 
about the language of technical analysis. So it's really not strategy based as much as it is really communicating to you the language of the financial market. So you better understand these red lights and green lights as they're forming so you can develop that awareness and hopefully start to execute when you see these red lights and green lights, these buy sell indicators as they're communicated through these patterns. So I think a good complement to this technical analysis course is for you guys to check out the download below where you can download the PDF of my small account micro pullback strategy. So the micro pullback strategy is when we have, and this is almost always on the one minute time frame, we have a stock that's squeezed up and then it has a momentary pullback and that momentary pullback is all we need to base risk with the opportunity to get in at this little spot. So this for me is one of the most consistent patterns that I trade almost every single day. It's called the micro pullback. And I encourage you guys to check out the download. It's in the description right below. And you can uh, go through that download as you continue to watch the remaining episodes as part of this series on technical analysis, because this will help you with understanding the strategy that you're gonna apply to this new language that you're learning. So I'm gonna get rid of this here. So what we're ultimately looking for when we're, when we're watching charts is we're looking for these patterns to begin forming. So what we're gonna talk about as we get into the next episode of this multi-part series on technical analysis are different candlestick formations. So let's just say for instance, we have a stock that opens right here like this, a little teeny body like this opens, it hits a high way up here but then it closes right here and is therefore a red candle. That candle communicates a huge amount of indecision in the market. What if we had a candle that opened right here, dropped down, came back up, and closed right about here? Well, that would communicate something else entirely. What if we had a candle that opened and closed at exactly the same price, but had a big upper candle wick and a long lower candle wick? These are three different types of candles that represent extreme levels of indecision. And we're gonna talk about those in the next episode of Technical Analysis, where we talk about the doji candlestick. So check out that episode right there to continue on to part two of this Technical Analysis series.